from traveling more than 11,000 kilometers to see his idol, to even getting emotional when Eric finally decides to meet him face to face. Phidias is one of the few YouTubers who proved that he was worthy of becoming Eric's team member. After all, Eric was the actual reason that inspired him to become a successful YouTuber. However, back then, no one had any idea what Phidias would eventually get himself into. How did Phidias manage to join Eric in the first place? Why did he eventually disappear? And was it a good decision? Initially after joining, Phidias brought incredible energy to Eric's channel than any other member of the team. Eric also realized that he needed a team member like Phidias, who was ready to take risks and keep viewers entertained every second. <laughs> I'm doing something illegal again! <laughs> The plan seemed to work perfectly, because two years ago, when Phidias joined Eric's channel, the views suddenly skyrocketed like never before. For example, 13 million views on Facebook Marketplace video, 18 million views on breaking 100 laws in 24 hours, and even 22 million views on what happens if you hire 50 bodyguards. Obviously, the idea and video execution was perfect. However, in all of these videos, Phidias' energy could be witnessed from a distance afar. But then, something big happened. Phidias suddenly disappeared from Eric's channel. Surprisingly, the views also started decreasing on his videos. And somehow, Phidias was nowhere to be found in their team, but was witnessed uploading constantly on his own channel. The biggest question that arises is why Phidias left Eric when he was the one who inspired him to travel 11,000 kilometers to start his YouTube journey. He was the one who gave him the opportunity to become a part of his team. Or does this mean that Eric has fired Phidias for some personal reason, because of which we might never get to see him again in his channel? And to make matters worse, why did Phidias get into so many controversies after leaving Eric? Phidias openly declared in his podcast that from the very beginning, his priority was his channel, but he will be supporting Eric side by side. As I can't, whatever time you text me, I will come, but my intentions in the future is to have my channel as a priority. This was understood between the two, which also makes it clear that Eric did not fire him or they got separated for some personal reasons. Nonetheless, what exactly motivated Phidias to leave Eric after one year? It's not that they were under contract, but how Phidias realized that he could survive without Eric and that he could also attract millions of views in each of his videos. Because when Jake the Viking left Mr. Beast, he was completely confident that he could become a successful YouTuber on his own. However, despite leaving Mr. Beast's team for around three years, Jake is still struggling to attract an average of 15,000 views on his channel. And the only video that attracted 18 million views was when he openly explained why he left Mr. Beast. But if you compare this to Phidias, then he seems to be performing extremely well on his channel. For example, his recent videos like I lived 3 days in the mall for free gained 1 million views, I lived 7 days in the airport for free attracted 4.4 million views, and I hugged the world's top 100 celebrities attracted 12 million views. This shows that since since Phidias left Eric, he has been growing much faster than ever before. However, four years ago, Phidias was scratching the surface with only 10 to 15,000 views, just like Jake the Viking. So, what is the ultimate secret that made Phidias confident enough to leave Eric? Well, after days of researching his videos, I found a few ingredients that actually changed Phidias' YouTube career. In fact, what I am about to tell you is going to transform the future of creators who want to become successful YouTubers. The first step begins with this video that Phidias uploaded on his channel three years ago, which was even before he joined Eric. I love YouTube and I want to make YouTube as my primary goal, so until the end of December, our team to grow 100,000 subscribers. Before crossing 100,000 subscribers, Phidias finally realized that it's not about the number of videos you upload on YouTube. It's actually about the idea behind the video that makes it go viral. An idea that not only creates enormous curiosity in the eyes of viewers, but also connects with their lives. Specifically speaking, this is the same strategy that is applied by top YouTubers like Eric, Ryan Trahan, and of course, Mr. Beast. But as easy as it looked, Phidias still had to go through a lot of experience to find out which idea could work perfectly for his channel. Because everyone is running after a powerful idea, but only experienced YouTubers are able to find and execute them at the same time. For example, a few months back, Eric's video editor Mac uploaded only two videos on his channel and he has crossed more than 350,000 subscribers already. In the first video, he simply gave an introduction about the beginning of his YouTube journey and in the next video, he uploaded this powerful idea about surviving a hundred hours control 
controlled by artificial intelligence. The reason why this video crossed 5 million views is that Max spent years with Eric on what works best on YouTube, but Phidias was still sitting at the realization. Nonetheless, what people fail to realize is that Phidias is a Navy SEAL. Being born in Cyprus, Phidias had to go through compulsory military service. Surprisingly, out of 70 people, he was one of 13 individuals who managed to successfully complete the Navy SEAL training. The discipline that he developed during that period helped him complete any challenge that came his way. And this time, the challenge was to learn from top YouTubers by actually becoming a part of their team. A challenge like this is not possible for everyone because only a crazy person can dare to leave his country, his family, even his girlfriend and shift to the United States. But you know what? Phidias was crazy enough. First, he began by actually leaving his country and giving this mystery box to Eric. I will not stop until I give this mystery box to Eric. He's one of the fastest growing YouTubers in the world and I really admire his work. A perfect opportunity to attract Eric's followers towards his direction. Then he did the same with Mr. Beast by winning his Lamborghini challenge. This guy was even ready to die by completing 30 day no food challenge that Mr. Beast failed to complete. Another powerful strategy that attracted Mr. Beast followers towards his direction. Despite making his mother upset, he was not ready to give up. I don't know if he's going to finish this challenge. He told me that he's ready to die, but I can't stand losing him because of his crazy ideas and challenges. Phidias now understood that people love watching videos that include impossible challenges. So he created no money challenges like Ryan Trahan. And the plan seemed to work in his direction. Even after leaving Eric, Phidias was on his way to becoming one of the top YouTubers. YouTube sent us this plaque that everyone gets when they pass 100,000 subscribers. I was always dreaming to have this. His audience loved him and everything seemed perfect. At least, that was until it wasn't. Phidias got himself into his first major controversy when he visited the poorest country in the world. What was even more poor was Phidias' thumbnail choice and the way he narrated his whole video. Phidias viewed the locals as a form of attraction and often made unnecessary reactions that didn't seem authentic. He even pulled out his own phone and started describing how it works while the teacher behind him held his own phone and pointed at it. This video left many Many viewers confused if it was just a language barrier or if Phidias genuinely didn't have that much respect for the locals. Sadly, the truth became evident a few months later when Phidias attempted to travel through Japan for free. The video starts with Phidias refusing to pay the bus driver for which he got detained by the police. Immediately after being released, he proceeds to hide in a train bathroom and after being caught, he pretends to be sick and runs away afterwards. To top it all off, once he got hungry during the video, he just decided to steal food from a 5 star hotel. This video eventually did get deleted by YouTube, but it stained Phidias' reputation forever. Phidias started out like a very likable YouTuber, just a guy doing his best to pursue his dreams with hard work and a lot of dedication. Nonetheless, it's hard to see him as that anymore. We can only hope that Phidias will learn from his mistakes and change his content for the better. Consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you next time.